All right, guys. Here's a traditional thread light setup for the clamshell light, which is the beauty light. One of the interesting things about the beauty light is it has this beautiful catch light in her eyes, in the model's eyes. If we zoom in, we can see this beautiful, especially the lower lights as the fuel lights to deliver this look. Yeah. So how about let's optimize the fuel lights? Here's my little trick. I put uh, some it's not, I was looking for the black one, but I don't, we don't have that. Uh, so it's some blue sticky tape and uh, on the softbox. And let's see how it goes. It's very subtle, you guys see that, but it creates this interesting catch lights, interesting catch lights. And we can think about, so now beside this uh, traditional, um, traditional um, white background shoots. What else can we do? Okay. Here I am going to get rid of this background. And let's try something different, shall we? So instead of white background, which is the fashion magazine or, you know, uh, the makeup look, um, we can set up something even more fun. I'll hide this light right behind Lucy. If you're going for editorial look, you want some myster mysterious sort of lights, right? Again, so that's, that's SA, 11C. I book out a red gel. So why red? Um, I'm going for this analogous color palette. Lucy's skin tone, it's beautiful orange. So I will, I will go for red for slight separation but not so contrasty like blue vs orange. I'm not going for those, those kind of blue and teal look. Yeah. So red and orange. Analogous color palette. Let's give a go. Let's always, always turn on your light. So I am using V1. The currently po power of V1 is out of one of 32 plus 0.7. So I will rest that up for one stop. Um, hopefully. Yeah. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. And now, the reason um, I used the, um, the red color is because I, I want to do the color palette matching almost with the blush color of Lucy. And I'm glad it works so well. So color temperature wise, there is a difference because the foreground light is obviously white and the background light is obviously red. We need uh, the, uh, a connection, right? So I'm adding fourth lights as a hair lights to connect between the background and the Lucy Blay. Lucy, do you want to have a look? See if that's um, to, your, to your hair height or it's not tall enough? Like maybe if you lower it, maybe about two centimeters. Lower it? Yeah, just a little tiny bit. Ah, oh, it's, it's okay then. Okay, it should be. Perfect. should be like that. Oh, as long as it's not too low, that, that'll, be, that'll be really cool. Good. Yeah, so we have this red colors coming through. So there's a nice pockets of lights bleeding to connect from the uh, red background as well as her skin. So what else can we do? We can actually see because it's backlit we will see some if some smoke actually works in this scenario yeah yeah that's it go beautiful let's have a look very subtle so i will you know what i will i'm actually adding another red gel Let me give it a try. Go for, can you check the AD200 uh, Pro's power? Sorry, 104. Can you move that tad closer? Tad closer to her. Yeah. That's really good. Uh, that's good. I like the lights bleeding, so uh, it works for me. But for if you, you guys don't like it, just move it a tad bit outside of the crop and that will do the job beautiful
that's gorgeous that's gorgeous now all right let's live let's give a go look at me okay that's it 